Ever since the collector role was released, the number one way to make money was by going through this role. And later on, it became even more profitable with the introduction of this online interactable map by Jean Rope. This has easily helped players make thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars, pushing up to 100k, maybe even some players, if you are a dedicated player, to a million dollars within Red Dead Online. And if you're hitting these numbers, you already know that you're sorted for the update that has just passed, as well as probably the next update, and the next update after that, and the next update after that. But unfortunately, Rockstar didn't want us to do this. This was not within Rockstar's plans, so therefore, they have changed Red Dead Online so that you cannot really use this collector map and that is exactly what we're gonna be going through in this video if you do want to see any more Red Dead Online content from me I am streaming over on Twitch there is a link in the description down below head over to there drop a follow and you'll be notified the next time I go live we also have a discord channel where you can find the latest news for Red Dead we have the legendary animal map over there right now which is constantly being updated this allows you to see exactly where legendary animals spawn within free room it doesn't guarantee that they're going to spawn when you go there but if you do get lucky that is exactly where you will find it getting back into the video the collector map this was the best tool to use to make money within red dead online this collector map showed you every single collectible location within the game and if you didn't know, these collectibles are based on a cycle, and every single day it selects one of six different cycles, which means these collectibles change location every single day. And this map keeps track of it all. The number one way to make money was to get the coin set, the ring set, and the earring set. All three of these are the most expensive sets within the game. And if you complete them, which does just take around about an hour, if you're very quick, you can get it under that hour mark, and that will give you $1,200. That is a lot of money. Just to put this into consideration, as you can only do those sets once a day, because once they're done, they're done, you need to wait until the next day when these sets change cycle. If you did this every single day, from the moment that the Moonshine update was released, all the way up to the Naturalist update, when that was released on the 28th of July, that is 228 days. For every single day, if you spend one hour just to go through the coin set, the ring set, and the earring set, you have a total of $273,600. That is more than enough to buy everything within this latest update and times that by probably six, maybe even 10, maybe even more than that. This is more money than you would ever need. But those days are now over because the latest update that Rockstar released with the Naturalist role did change how collectibles behave. Originally, when the collector role was first released, there was only three cycles. But Rockstar did update this later with the Moonshine update to add another three cycles, and that was in hope to get rid of this collector map. But no, this collector map was down for a couple weeks, but it was soon updated and it did have every single collectible location for every single cycle. Now what Rockstar have done, on top of there being a cycle, six cycles in total, for some of these collectibles, they are completely random. Not the fact that they're completely random, that they can be placed anywhere in the world, they still stay to the cycle. But if you look at a collector map and you see that the 1792 quarter is in a set location, you go to that location, you dig it up by using the metal detector and also the shovel you will not get the 1792 quarter it's now completely random what coin you'll get this has made completing a set a lot harder so now if you go to all 15 coin locations to collect every single one of the coins you won't actually complete a set well to be fair it's unlikely there's still a chance you can get extremely lucky by going to each of these locations picking up a coin and once you go through all 15 it just so happens to be the 15 coins that you need but that is a very very slim chance and it's not just the coin set we're talking about the most expensive sets in the game so the coins the family heirlooms the arrowheads the rings the necklaces the earrings the bracelets you can no longer do the coin ring or earring method you'll be lucky to even complete a set i've even been doing a few tests the past couple of days live on stream as well as in my spare time i thought with these being completely random now is there any benefit to buying collector maps from madame nazar maybe rockstar have made it a selling point because if you go to madame nazar buy a coin map go out find the coin locations come back buy another coin map do that five times it will actually give you the coins that you need meaning that you'll go back and forth between each location and madame nazar 
and you will complete a full set. But for that to happen, you do need to spend $27 to buy a map. Unfortunately, no, Rockstar did not do that. They did not even make Madame Lazar worth it. I thought maybe Rockstar didn't like the interactable map and more of you actually have to work to earn your money. You actually have to play the role to earn your money. But no, that is not the case. You still cannot complete a set even if you go to Madame Nazar. So that still makes Madame Nazar completely pointless. The collectible, the collectible sets such as the wildflowers, the tarot cards, the antique alcohol bowl and the bird eggs, they remain the same. They still have six cycles and they have not been completely random. If you find a blood flower within the world and pick that up, you're not going to just go and get a chocolate daisy. You're still going to get a blood flower. And it's the same for the other ones. These locations are still within the collector map and they still show the exact locations every single day. It's just the expensive collectibles that you can no longer do. But the thing is, this interactable map is still worth it. Collecting is still the number one way to make money and to make XP. So even though Rockstar have made this change and it does mean that you're getting less money, if you do want to put in a money grind, this is still the number one way. And it still isn't worth going to Madame Lazar because she still doesn't give you a benefit. There has also been an issue with Madame Lazar. And I don't know whether or not this is a glitch or whether or not this is part of the randomness within the game now when getting these collectibles. But I have bought a collector map and every single time I bought a collector map on stream, I pulled it out gave me three locations. I would go to those locations, as you're supposed to do. But sometimes when I'm using a metal detector to dig up a coin, it would actually give me an arrowhead and it wouldn't actually register that I picked up the collectible. There's no other collectibles around, that is the only collectible. So what I'm actually paying for is not even a coin map anymore. It's a completely random map of what I'm going to get which still gives me profit, but not as much profit as if it was all coins. So as said, the collector maps are completely broken. They're still not worth it. Don't go to Madame Nazar to buy them. Still use this map whilst it's still in use. I'm sure down the road, maybe with the next update, Rockstar will nerf the collector role even more to the point of where maybe this map just isn't worth it. And maybe you do have to go to Madame Nazar. The thing that I'm doing now that I've completed the Outlaw Pass and I don't need the money, I'm actually going to be collecting all my sets again. I'm going to be stacking them up ready for the next Outlaw Pass, which is supposed to be around Halloween as that's been the thing that's leaked. I know a lot of people are against me doing this because they end up saying that it ends up being completely boring. Why would you want to do this? I find it fun. It was seven months of preparation to get the last video done of me completing the Outlaw Pass within day one. And now we're looking at another couple months of preparation up until when the Halloween Outlaw Pass comes out. So this will keep me active. I'm still gonna be going through the most expensive sets first. The coin, the ring, and the earring sets. And I'm gonna be following this map doing so. Yes, it's just based on random chance of when I get the collectibles, but I can tell you between now and the point of when the next Outlaw Pass is released, I will have every single collectible, even if it is completely random. And with this, I'm not going to give a penny to Madden Nazar. But anyway, that is the update for the interactable collector map. I'm still going to leave a link in the description down below. That is where you can find this map. It is still the best community made tool. There's nothing else like this that benefits players as much as this. And it's probably made on total for players like tens, maybe even hundreds of millions of dollars just for the whole community. That is how good it is. And even though, yes, it is making less money now because of how Rockstar changed it, this is still the most profitable way to make money. Rockstar, if you are happening to be listening to this video, I don't know why you would. I'm sure there's other stuff that you would much rather do. But if you gave a reason to go to Madame Lazar to buy collector maps, for example, if you went for the free roam collectibles to find these locations using this interactable map, you have a random chance of what collectible you would get. But if you buy a map at Madame Lazar and then went to use that map to find these locations, if you keep on doing that, it will actually give you a full set. If that happened, it would be so much quicker for me to complete a set by going to Madame Lazar. So I would happily spend the money, but that's not the case. So between now and the point of when they will change this role, as they've already said they want to change this role in a Polygon interview, and they've even said with the latest update when they announced it, that the next update is coming towards the end of this year, the end of 2020, and they will be changing up one of the roles that are already in the game, most likely the Collector. 
So between that time, I'm going to be using this map still. If you do want to see me go live through all of these different collectible locations, getting ready for the future of Red Dead Online as we do on this channel, then head over to my Twitch channel, drop a follow, and you'll be notified the next time I go live. If you have any more additional questions, you can leave them in the comment section, or you can head over to the Discord, drop a question there, and I'll be sure to get to you. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going to see ya.